the Degtroff light machine gun, sometimes called the DP-27 or DP-28. This gun was accepted for Red Army service in 1927 and deployed for service in 1928. Typically, Soviet sources refer to the firearm as the DP-27, with some Western sources referring to it as the DP-28. If you like, you can always just call it by its nickname, the Record Player. The DP-27 was the Soviet light machine gun of World War II. The DP series of light machine guns served the Soviet Union from 1928 all the way until 1961. It's most recognizable by its 47-round Pan magazine mounted in front of the rear sights. About 800,000 of these guns were manufactured, and they've been used in conflicts all over the globe. In World War II, a typical infantry squad or submachine gun squad could count on fire support from a DP machine gun. As such, DP series firearms are very popular in Soviet and Russian movies, and even Korean movies, as it was further used by communist forces during the Korean War. The DP-27 was designed under the leadership of Vasily Degtyaroff. It was designed to fire the same 762 by 54 mm rimmed cartridge as the main Soviet infantry rifle, the Mosin Nagant, which simplifies logistics for Soviet infantry. The DP-27 was a sturdy and simple design. It was easy and cheap to manufacture. It performed well in adverse conditions, be it dirt, mud, or sand. It had a rate of fire of 550 rounds per minute, about the same as the British Bren gun. Though unlike the Bren, it had no select fire. It took longer to change a magazine as well, but the magazines did have a higher capacity, containing 47 rounds. Effective firing range was 800 meters. The DP-27 weighed just over 9 kilograms, or 20.1 pounds unloaded. When comparing the DP-27 to German general-purpose machine guns like the MG-34 and 42, the firing rate was substantially low, and the DP-27 could not be belt-fed. It was not unusual for Soviet troops to use German machine guns if and when captured, as frequently highlighted in the movies. Of course, with supply issues on the Eastern Front, all sides were known to use captured weapons. This gun crew featured in the Soviet film Liberation The Last Assault took particular offense to this German soldier using a captured DP. A gun! The film series has some pretty amazing equipment and battles. It's well worth watching. The DP-27 had a removable barrel with an integrated flash suppressor and gas cylinder. Each gun had a bipod, typically for firing from a prone position. The first versions of the DP contained only 80 parts. The DP-27 did have some weaknesses that were addressed throughout its service. Pan magazines were prone to damage. Magazines of this type are awkward to reload, carry, and generally get in the way. The biggest issue was the recoil spring's location near the barrel, which led to overheating causing it to lose its proper spring temper. This issue was resolved with the DPM, adopted in 1943-44, which housed the recoil spring in a tube projecting from the rear of the receiver. This was further manufactured in China as the Type 53. The gun was further modified for use on aircraft, or most commonly in tanks. These variants had larger magazines. The pan magazines being loaded into this KV-1 are notably taller. They held 60 rounds. They were also designed to be used dismounted. They had a detachable bipod that could be stored inside the tank, and a collapsible buttstock. In 1946, the RP-46, a metallic belt-fed version with a heavier barrel, finally remedied sustainable fire for the gun. It could fire 500 rounds before the barrel had to be swapped. The RP-46 was supplemented in the 1950s by the more modern RPD machine gun, also developed by Vasily Degtyaroff, before entirely replaced in the Soviet service by the general-purpose PK machine gun. Alright comrades, I'm Johnny, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I never thought I'd have to say DP so many times. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.